We have a question from Yamabushi Sana. Hi Dave, I want to know, are the Kawasaki ZX-10R BT-1606 tires best for that bike? Uh, there's a loaded question. <laughs> um, tires come in two forms, hard carcass tires and soft carcass tires. What generally comes on OEM bikes can vary substantially. Uh, the Bridgestone BTO 16 family of tires has a stiff sidewall and a soft carcass across the treaded area of the tire itself. So that's a nice blend. Sometimes it'll come, bikes will come with Dunlops, they'll come with Pirellis, uh, they can come with Continentals. There's all kinds of tires out there. The bottom line in regards to your question is really what type of tire do you prefer? And have you done or ridden enough, in terms of research on tires, a type of tire to understand what best fits your personal needs? Now for a street tire, obviously, the streets are way worse than tracks in terms of number of bumps and frequency of bumps. The softer the carcass of the tire that you have, the more it's going to absorb the bumps in the road and provide you with a little bit more rider comfort as you ride the bike. So, a soft carcass tire on the street is much more forgiving if that is really what you're looking for because that takes a lot of the feedback away from the motorcycle and it makes you feel comfortable, then that's your tire. That's what you will go for. A hard carcass tire, conversely, will obviously send tons of feedback of every bump down the road through the suspension to you, the rider, so you can feel exactly what's going on as the wheel rotates over the tire surface. Now, for someone like me, I love that information. It's great, but I only like that on the track. So for my street bike, I will run a soft carcass tire. Now, if you get into the middle zone where you are a weekend warrior, you ride aggressively on the weekends, and you maybe commute on the bike during the week, you need kind of a blend of a tire there. You know, what can I buy that offers that kind of mix? Well, usually if you find a tire with a stiff sidewall and a little more forgiveness in the tire itself, in the surface, like a BTO 16, you get a nice blend. If you prefer the softer carcass tires, we've done before with tire reviews, the Dunlop Q2 is another great tire for all sorts of different scenarios. And the other thing to remember as well, especially what we did in, in the Bridgestone R10 tire test, Tire pressure can make all the difference into the world in how that tire responds to bumps on the ground. So, you could run very soft tire pressure, but that will give you less longevity and take away some of the bumps. You can increase your tire pressure, irrespective of the carcass construction, and that will give you much more feel, but more longevity of the tire. So, in regards to your question, figure out what brand of tires feels best to you. Once you understand that, then stay with that brand of tires for the life of the bike, because the bike will always behave the same way and nothing will come out of the ordinary. If you do choose to experiment with different types of tires, remember that your suspension settings will have to change. If you have a very hard carcass tire, you will need a stiff suspension to cope with all the bumps. If you run a soft carcass tire, you'll need soft suspension because there are a lot of suspension action will be taken away with the tire absorbing the pavement. So Yamabushi, thanks for your question. If you have questions for me, please send them via Facebook to Dave Moss Tuning, or alternatively leave them here at Catalyst Reaction SBW. Thanks a lot.